everyone, my name is Precious Pekilia and I'm a Christian YouTuber that creates content about finding, following and fulfilling God's plan and purpose for your life. So today I have a message for people that are angry with themselves, people that maybe they made a mistake and they haven't been able to forgive themselves and because of that they are unable to move forward in the plan and purpose of God for their lives. So this message is for you guys. Please listen closely. So my message to you guys today is this. Forgive yourself forgive yourself i know you heard this saying before that when you forgive others you are doing yourself a favor that's true that's very true but do you also know that when you forgive yourself you are doing others a favor when you forgive others you are doing yourself a favor to let go of all the hurt and everything so that you can be free and you're not carrying any baggage but do you also know that when you forgive yourself you are doing others a favor especially the people that god has called you to serve let me tell you how you are doing them a favor. When you forgive yourself and like free yourself from the mistakes you made and let go of the past, you are, you are becoming more whole and you are becoming a better person. And you are, when you are a better person, you are able to serve them better. That is the people that God has called you to serve. You are able to serve them better when you become a better person. When you forgive yourself and let go of all the pains of the past. But if you don't forgive yourself, you are also harming the people that God has sent you to serve. Because you cannot give what you don't have. So if all you are filled with is hurt and pain, trust me, that is what you will transfer to the people you are speaking to. If all you are filled with is hatred, anger, bitterness, and, and envy, pain, that's what you transfer to them. Because anytime you are speaking to somebody, a part of your spirit is being transferred to them. You are dropping something, you are depositing some things in their spirit. That's also why you have to be careful who you listen to. So if you are filled with pain, you will transfer pain to them. If you are unwhole, if you are not whole, the message you give to them will be unwholesome. If you are not complete as a person, you will keep delivering an incomplete message. Do you remember the video I did on the 10 virgins? About how if your vessel, if the lamp is, is, is broken, it does not matter the amount of revelation that is, that is being poured into you. Like the problem has now shifted from God. So you cannot still blame God for not giving you revelation because he's actually giving you revelation. But the problem is the lamp. What is the lamp? Your vessel. What is your vessel? You as a person. If you as a person, if you are broken, if the lamp is broken, the lamp cannot properly dissipate the oil. So if you are broken, no matter the amount of revelation and the fire and everything, there will still be a leakage and it won't just go right to the people you are giving it to. So my dear, I want you to prioritize, I want, I want, I want to say prioritize your healing, prioritize your wholeness, prioritize your healing, prioritize your wholeness. And I'm not talking in the case of doing all this, all this, should I say, um self-care taking yourself out yes that's part of it but how you become whole how you become truly whole it's not by giving yourself a treat it's by spending time in the presence of god spending time in the presence of god i also did a video about what self-love really means so i think you should watch that as well prioritize your wholeness not just for yourself, but for the people that you have been sent to serve. Because if you are not whole, they too will not be whole. Because you cannot give what you do not have. So prioritize yourself by spending time in the presence of God. Spending time in the presence of God. If you are doing something for God, ensure that you spend times two of that time you are using to serve God in your personal devotion. In your personal devotion so that you will not be burnt out, so that you will not be stressed. So you can always come and give correct, wholesome messages to the people that God has called you to serve. Alright? So prioritize your wholeness. Prioritize your inner healing. And that's not by, by, by materialism. No. That's by spending time in the presence of God. And allowing God to work on you from the inside out. So you'll be a changed person. And only a changed person can actually change other people. So if you really want to change other people and, and impact your world... Prioritize your, your wholeness, your, your healing from the inside out. 
I see God helping us in Jesus' name. So I hope you've been blessed by this message. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. A lot more messages about finding, following, and fulfilling God's plan and purpose for your life on this YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, comment, and most importantly, please ensure that you put to practice what was said here today. In case you need a break, please take it. Whatever you need to do so that you can become a better person for the people you are serving. Because that is very, very paramount. That you are able to serve them the way God wants you to serve them. So, prioritize your healing and health. God bless you.